So it seems like Natalia is not as popular as she used to be. Before people will ban her almost every game, or someone will pick her for sure. But after the nerf she received, now a lot less players are playing her. However, she is still one of the scariest assassins in the game, because she might be right behind you when you least expect it. And her damage output is still insane, which I will show you throughout this gameplay. There are two ways to play Natalia very efficiently. You can play her in the side lane or as a support roamer in the middle lane. In this one I will play her in the side lane, and I will share with you some important tips on how you can abuse your enemies when you are in the side lane. Before the game starts, pay a lot of attention to the enemy's composition. If you know they are going to do the standard 1-2-2 formation, then go to the experience lane. But if it's the 1-3-1 formation, then go to the goal lane. The reason for this is because you want to go to the single hero lane so you can abuse the talent from the assassin emblem. Welcome to Mobile Legends. Give me names and I will come to blood. In the early game, I will always try to harass the enemy as much as possible so later I can kill her, but when the enemy decide to get in this lane, she'll be extremely weak, so we can easily turret dive her. You. If you do this often, you can easily dominate your lane and instill fear into the enemies. Just make sure that when you are training blows, you are inflicting more damage than actually receiving. So usually you just want to hit, use the first skill to hit the target once, and then just retreat immediately. This way you don't receive any damage while you are lowering the target HP, slowly but surely. You can see how I'm always waiting for the target to waste her skill first and then I will attack her. Always wait for the right timing before engaging. Here, you can see Hayabusa is trying to go for me first, and with my remaining HP, he can definitely kill me with his ultimate. But bad timing for him, because I just got my ultimate. Kadita is in a good position to do a surprise ambush, I'm going to provide her some assistance. I'm going to repeat the same thing and just keep harassing Silvana. Hit and run. But now Lolita decided to disrupt my phone and want to be a party pooper. I saw my team coming to the top lane, so I'm going to get ready to pay them back for what they did to my turret. Remember, whenever you kill some of them, make sure to take advantage of that and take some objective. Lane, 
Now that I've pushed my lane and there's not much going on that lane anymore, I'm free to roam around the map and start hunting down the enemies. I saw that Kufra is waiting in the bush to ambush Hayabusa when he goes take his buff. I will try to provide him some assistance. I'm waiting for Hilda to get away from the turret and the bush a bit more so we can have a higher success rate at killing her. When there's not much happening, just keep split pushing and farming. Because once Natalia is farmed, she can almost instantly kill any squishy hero in the game. Remember, when you're under her second skill, you receive less damage from the turret. Is ready. Instead of clearing the minion wave, I'm going to use this as a bait because I'm almost 99.78% sure that one of the enemies will fall for it, especially their carry. This is called creating pressure in the opposite lane of the Lord, so the enemies are forced to defend the opposite lane and your team can just take the Lord during this distraction. And by the time they try to contest it, it's going to be too late already. And if they decide to contest the Lord instead of defending the lane, then I can just destroy their base for free. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks.